What a performance by Nate Stanley Saturday in Iowa's big win over Indiana. As you saw, six touchdown passes time for the second most in school history. He joins us now from our studio in Iowa City. It is the Ace Hardware campus interview. And Nate, congratulations on a great performance. Did you know coming into the game that this would be a day in which you guys would rely heavily on the pass? Uh, no, not right away. Uh, you know, I think our goal is to always try to be as even as possible, try to establish that run game. But, you know, if something's not working, Coach Brian does a great job at, at uh, you know, going to, to what is working. So, uh, you know, he, he had a lot of confidence in me and, uh, you know, a lot of confidence in the offensive line and, and the receivers to, to make plays. Well, the receivers, of course, include the tight ends. Fant and Hawkinson, both yeah. fantastic, both going over 100 yards. How does the incredible skill that you guys have at tight end change your approach? You know, it's it's huge for us to, to have both those guys. They're both incredible athletes. Uh, you know, obviously have the ability to, to make plays like they did on Saturday. And, uh, you know, it gives us a lot of weapons, you know, especially down in the red zone. And, uh, you know, as, you, as you're seeing right now with TJ, uh, you know, has the ability to to run after after the catch, too. It's the third time in four games you've thrown for more than 300 yards, and it happened once in your career prior to that. Can you put a finger on what's changed here, Nate? Uh, you know, I think really just being able to, to capitalize on those opportunities when, uh, you know, Coach Bryan calls those longer pass plays. Uh, you know, it's, it, it's uh, you know, obviously comforting to, to know that we have some, some veteran guys on the offensive line. Uh, that I'll have a lot of time to, to be able to throw the ball and, uh, you know, obviously just go out there and make those plays. Um, you know, that's what we live for and, uh, you know, just happy that, that uh, you know, we've been having the success. You mentioned the offensive line. They've allowed just six sacks on the year. It was much more of an issue last year. Those six sacks, in fact, the fewest in the Big Ten. Where have you seen the biggest improvement in that group, Nate? Yeah, I think every single day at practice, they just all come out with a with a great attitude and uh, you know do everything they can to to make sure that they're doing their job so I can do mine. And uh, you know that's all that you can ask for that that they just come out and compete as hard as they can and uh, you know give me some time back there. I know it's a weird spot to put you into to comment on one of your coaches, but I am really interested in the evolution of this offense under Brian Ferentz. I mean, last year you guys had a few games. They were off the charts. The Ohio State game, of course, is the one that remains seared in everyone's memory. But the issue was there was an inconsistency there. And it certainly seems now over the last four games or so that you guys have found that consistency. How have you seen him evolve as a play caller? I mean, I wouldn't say that, that there's been much of a difference. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing for us is, is we're learning how to be more consistent with our, with our preparation every single week. Um, you know, we're, we've, we've had some really good practices the last couple of weeks and, you know, I've just built, built day by day by day and, uh, you know, are looking forward to continuing that, you know, through this week and then the rest of the season. You mentioned this week you have a game coming up against Maryland. They gave up eight passing yards and had five interceptions last Saturday. So as you watch them on film, what are you seeing from this Terps defense? You know, they're extremely physical. Um, you know, they do a great job. You know whether that be throwing guys off their routes or uh, you know making plays when the ball is in the air. So uh, you know they, they play extremely physical and do a lot of different things up front to try to confuse uh, you know the offensive line and the quarterback. And um, you know as of right now, just just trying to study as much tape as possible and uh, you know have some good practices and uh, you know just get ready to play on Saturday. Bigger picture, Nate, I know you start every season hoping that this will be a year that you can win the division and get to Indy. You guys are in a great spot for that right now. You're in a four-way tie, essentially, in the lost column for first place in the Big Ten West. What would it mean for this program to make a return visit to Indianapolis? I think it would be huge. Um, you know, obviously, it would mean a lot to, to everybody on this team. We put in so much time together in the offseason, you know, in workouts, in, in you know, structured things by players, whether that be throwing routes or, you know, just getting together, watching tape. So, you know, I, I know it would be huge for, for everybody on this team to be able to get back there. Iowa quarterback Nate Stanley. Nate, thanks so much for your time and best of luck this Saturday against the Terps. Thank you.